Welcome back, everyone, to episode 25 of the United States series. So, last episode, we conducted a cyber attack on Cuba, but their economy is so low that in 12 days, it only did about a billion dollars worth of damage. So... Not really sure how much that's going to impact them, but I'm sure it's going to impact them a lot. I mean, their national deficit is at 29%, and their inflation is at 32 So they're not doing too well at all. Um, their unemployment is close to about 6%. Um, but other than that... I'm going to concentrate on uh, bringing down our debt so we could do more for uh, the residents of the country. So our inflation is going down currently at 3.94% and our interest rate is at 12%. So we're going to bump that up to uh, 13%. And let's check our debt so far. So we have a quarterly surplus coming in at about $1.2 trillion. Um, overall budget excesses. 6.5 trillion and that's mainly coming from I believe it's our financial tax that we implemented a while ago that's creating the budget that's allowing us to pay off our debt otherwise this entire series, I wouldn't even come close to uh, bringing it down. So our tax on financial transactions is bringing us in $8.2 trillion. So that's a lot. And like I said, when I'm able to pay that down, I'll lower that tax. And... Uh, improve purchasing power give us a fresh new start so we have about another month before our quarter ends and we'll have another surplus and it'll build us a treasury reserve the funeral will take place next week do you want to attend the ceremony and that and locate a meeting with New Zealand um, beforehand let's see all right so we're not able to give all right me Let's go to aid. So I may not be able to give anything to New Zealand unless they have some kind of uh, catastrophe. Yeah, just what I thought. I'm not able for whatever reason. Okay, so they're a donor and a donor only, I guess. So, that's fine. We'll figure out another way to uh, increase diplomatic relations with them. So, we also want to deal with energy independence. So, let's go to Kansas and... We're going to build uh, 
you more shale gas wells. Do about five, like I usually do. Third one. All right, let's read what this Our is. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. Okay, we'll go with that. And so we have two more. To build. All right, so if we're done with that, and let's see. Let's go to health and let's see how much does this cost? Twenty seven billion. How much does that cost? Twenty seven billion. So we're just gonna do two stars and spend twelve billion for maternity leave. All right, and let's check the secret service files. So Morocco is supplying terrorist organizations and there's suspicions of Belarus conducting a nuclear weapons test. So we'll wait a little longer to see what the outcome is from the that. The preparations are complete. The whole country is preparing to joyfully celebrate this occasion. It would be a joy if you would participate in the festivities and mingle with the faithful. Undeniably, you have inside you the founding values of society. All right, so... All right, let's go with this group. We want to... Place this person under surveillance. We'll wait a little bit and then uh, we'll try to infiltrate the organization and bring them completely down. So out of all the terrorist groups that we had within the country, we pretty much wiped them all out with the exception of this one patriotic front. Um... All right, so something else for Belarus. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. Okay, so we have another informant in Belarus. Uh, let's see. So... You know what, I'm going to take 25 agents from Libya. Oh, I didn't even have to do that. My agents that I asked for are now available, so... Let's just see, because of Belarus, uh, because of their situation, go back. Oh, okay, I guess that was a bug. So we put the other 25 agents in Belarus. Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report confirms that his cell is operational. Oh, 
Okay, so they issued orders to perform a secret nuclear test. Okay, and we'll accept Guatemala into the American Continental Defense Union. Good morning. I didn't come empty-handed. In fact, I wanted to see you in order to submit this economic contract. As you will see, it is profitable for both our countries. Okay, for... It's not even worth it. I mean, that's not going to do anything for our demand at all. So, we're going to refuse. Sure. Dark and strong. And let's see if we could start some kind of alliance with them. So, we'll start with support. They accept that. Right, let's see if we could do maritime. Don't accept that. So we'll end the meeting and at least it's a start for uh, diplomatic relations with them. This loss is so very painful. Okay, it was the death of the uh, billionaire. Okay, so far there's nothing really in here of concern. Unless I overlooked something, but I don't see anything so far. So let's continue on. And let's go with uh, military. So we can just get rid of 50 of the. Uh, level one tanks and then let's see what else we can and we'll get rid of 53 of the anti-missile batteries so what is our budget at all right, so that should help lower our budget somewhat. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I thank all of our communities across the country. Both all right, so that's done. Um, let's go back and take a look. All right, so we're actually pretty close to meeting our objective for career soldiers. So we currently have 1,632,000 uh our goal is 1,656,000. So we're pretty close. And even in terms of our missiles that we've stockpiled, um, 216,000. So we have about another 9,000 to go. So the next order of business is 
we want to strengthen our ties with NATO. Um, they still like us, but the bulk of the countries just like us. They don't really, uh, they're kind of just lukewarm towards us. So we want to increase that and the way to do so. That's not going to really cost us too much is through the foreign exchange program. So one, we want to have one with the UK. Um, the next one is Poland. Um, I'm trying to think, do we have one with Denmark? Yeah, we do. Um, next one would be Romania. Then we also want to do Italy. All right, so let's see what we have here. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. Okay, we'll try that. All right, so we're caught up. Um, let's see. All right, so we did Italy. Um, Croatia. So we'll start with Croatia and let's see Belgium is another one. All right, so that should help. Let's see Poland. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we weren't giving them anything. So we'll give them a billion dollars. Um, let's see. So let's do one more with uh, Slovakia. So we'll do a program with them also. So the country likes our foreign policy so far. Okay, so we have a journalist that's been kidnapped by this, this Syrian brigades of Islam. So we'll wait till we get more information on them before we uh, go and capture them. And let's take a quick look at Agriculture. So let's, all right, it's more stuff coming out here. All right, so unemployment is at 4.72%. Okay, the journalist was free. It's true that the blow cannot really be described as fatal. Two arrests. Okay.
All right, so let's go back to farming. Um, okay, we're going to subsidize cereals by 5 billion. And vegetables. I'm going to increase that to 15 billion. So that bumps up the production. Now let's take a look at our water supply networks. So that's going to need um, some more funding. We'll put about 2 billion into that. So it just makes a little over our consumption, which is good. So now let's take a look at our taxes. So we're going to increase tax on large fortunes to 3.55%. It's going to bring in 39 billion. Um, inheritance tax, we're going to lower that to 30. So that's going to cost us about 9 billion. And let's see, real estate tax. And that's another nine billion. So, so the people actually like that. So, okay, so our quarterly surplus we have about three point I mean one point three trillion and happiness is actually up. So now let's go to dead and we're gonna pay off Australia. Otherwise it would have taken six years to pay that off. Denmark, we're going to pay them off. Otherwise, that would have taken six years. We're going to pay Israel off. Um, we're going to hold on to the rest of the money. Um, I really don't want to pay China off because it's going to boost their economy, but we also need to get rid of that debt. So let's take a look at what China's. All right. So they're in the middle of a 11% deficit. Um, not really sure how much, well, $2 trillion, $2.4 trillion that we owe them would probably bring that back down and help them out a lot. So I'll pay Japan off first, but I just want to accumulate a little more, um, So, so that's one point six. So just round that off to roughly 
It's roughly about 1.3. So that would give us around 300,000. I mean, not 300,000, 300 billion. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait. So let's help our industry out a little bit. So one thing I forgot about is the tire industry. So worldwide, what's who has the most? Um, looks like France does. And France actually has it cheaper. Um, but I don't want to buy anything from France based off of inflation. Yeah, because that's starting to flatten out again. So I'm going to hold off. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right, so we almost have 4% growth. Unemployment went back up. So we want to get that. All right, so let's look at the workforce. Let's go with 30,000 workers. And geothermal. Again, 30,000. And nuclear power plant. So let's just go with another 10,000. That's about 1.6 billion. We can handle that. And the bill, the bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. Many people are left in the streets. It is absolutely necessary to do something. Okay, so here we go again with Belarus. All right, so it's time we deal with them. So let's go about this the uh, diplomatic way. And first of all, let's release the information. So we'll release that information. And now we're going to go to the UN. And we're going to accuse them of being a threat to the international community. Okay, so it's sufficient evidence for sanctions and... So we'll bring that up to the Security Council. We 
have irrefutable evidence that this country is violating international conventions. This evidence should lead you to consider thoughtfully, what shall we do? Should we close our eyes or should we reaffirm the rule of law? Okay. All right, so let's go to the UN. Ah, forgot all about that with Turkey. We didn't get involved in that. Um, let's see what relations are like with Turkey. Um, I think that's the one country I forgot about. Yeah, so Turkey's part of NATO, so. At least for now, the way things are going. The package has been delivered. The delivery deadlines were met. We are already taking advantage of the equipment. Okay, our helicopters came in. So, all that does is strengthen our military. Alright, so... Yeah, we managed to bring our defense budget down. Um, but we haven't lost any... Uh, security, military power. So we're still number two. And... We have such a significant lead over China. I mean, they're nowhere close. So there's just one more thing I want to do here. So we'll increase the age for maximum school age. And because of, let's see, how much do we have still? 1.6 trillion. So we need to improve conditions. So let's spend 27 billion for battling endocrine disruptors. And let's see what else. Um, space research, Artemis. Alright, so that's in another month. Okay, Orion. Let's do a different launch date. All right, let's increase our budget. Let's give them three billion. Again, it's cosmic rays. All right, so 
I'll just get out of that. And... You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we'll see what happens with... Uh, the UN so in the meantime thank you so much for the support um, please subscribe if you haven't already and please share this with somebody you think would like this type of this type of video or type of game genre um, and I will see you soon. Thank you.